I cried mm. when I first got home, but uh, I have two very good friends mm -hmm. who were like, no, get up, we're going out. You know, and they were like, they, they wouldn't let me feel that way. Huh. I pretty much went back to my normal life. I went out to eat, I went out with my friends. Persistent, huh? <laughs> really? <laughs> really, the only thing I didn't do was go to my daughter's school activities hmm. or her dance recitals. I guess in my mind I didn't want to have a negative impact on the other children or have them ask questions to her about mm -hmm. why her dad looks different. When I was growing up, kids can be really nasty. When I found out about the face transplant, I was like, if I do that, I can absolutely go to like every one of her events and not worry about it at all. In my, in my opinion, it was, it's either being done or I'm gonna miss out on so many things. I uh, asked the nurse if I was allowed to touch my face, and she was like, absolutely. I was like, felt it on my face, and I was amazed at the fact that I had eyelids, I had a nose, I had lips, and I was highly impressed. In my opinion, like, emotional scarring I see. and emotional pain takes much longer to heal, yep. and sometimes it doesn't ever heal. Right. Whereas what I went through pretty much like cleansed me and I was, you know, ready to start over and deal with whatever limitations I had.